What's up guys and welcome back to the G-Rat Show. You will not believe the club that Robert Lewandowski is now being linked to. Xavi also came out and stated that he wants to find a younger replacement for Robert Lewandowski, which let's just be honest, Barcelona desperately needs. We need so badly and Robert Lewandowski, he just does not cut it anymore. Love Robert Lewandowski, huge fan for so many years. He just doesn't cut it anymore. And then last but not least, one of Barcelona's superstars is injured yet again and can miss more time. Robert Lewandowski has been linked to the Saudi Pro League and is now being linked to the MLS and the particular team in question is the Chicago Fire. They are interested in potentially signing Robert Lewandowski. Now, does this mean in January? Because the MLS season starts in February. Now, could we potentially see Lewandowski leave Barcelona in the January transfer window? I would say we need a backup for him, but I would just put Joao Felix in there as a number nine and then figure out the left wing situation because I'm not really sure. Hopefully he can step his game up, but to be honest with what we're seeing, he just can't cut it. He couldn't cut it all of 2023 last season. He's not cutting it now, even before the injury this season with his ankle. He's just not cutting it. So hopefully he can do at least okay. But if he doesn't outscore Jude Bellingham in La Liga this season, I'm sorry, that's just embarrassing. If I'm Barcelona, I'm getting rid of Rafinha next year. I'm getting rid of Lewandowski and I'm going all out to try and do everything I can to sign a world-class player. Get Julian Alvarez, get Kylian Mbappe, get someone of that stature that you can rely on and have in the club for six, seven, Seven, eight years, Barcelona used to be so great at getting fantastic players. They they had Messi and Xavi and Busquets, Iniesta, they got Suarez, they got Neymar, they got Thierry Henry, they got Ibrahimovic. Yes, they weren't there that long, but they still got fantastic players. They had Samuel Eto, they had Ronaldinho. They don't get great players anymore. They got Lewandowski, he's aging. They have Pedri, they have Gavi, they're promising, but they're super young and Pedri's always injured. That's a whole other concern that we have that needs to be addressed as soon as possible. So let me know what you guys think down below. What do you think Barcelona needs? needs to do either in the January transfer window or next season on the attack because what they're doing right now is not working. The players they have are not working. Lamine Yamal has solidified himself. He's going to be here. We're going to keep him and he's going to be very successful. I'm fine with keeping Joao Felix for another year or two. He's at least dangerous and creates opportunities. Him and Lamine Yamal are the only ones that, that can beat players one-on-one -on -one and that actually try to attempt to beat players. That's one reason why Dembele was so fantastic. He would go against players 1v1 all the time. Rafinha doesn't do that. Let Lewandowski can't even get a clean touch, let alone take someone on 1v1. So these are some of the major problems Barcelona needs to fix. Now, last but not least, Ronald Araujo, apparently in the match against Shakhtar, picked up another injury. It's not being officially ruled as a specific injury. Right now, it's being ruled as him being overworked, but we can all assume he's going to at least miss some time. And unfortunately, I believe Barcelona plays Porto next, and they cannot afford to be out him, Koundé, Pedri, De Jong again in Porto because Porto should have beat Barcelona last time. We did did not deserve to win that match. There's just so many issues for Barcelona. They don't look good. There hasn't been really one or two games this season where we've been, wow, this team can compete with Arsenal and City and Bayern Munich and PSG and Real Madrid in the Champions League. Absolutely not. They continue to play like this. They'll end up facing Bayern Munich in the round of 16 or in the quarterfinal, and they will get embarrassed just like they did a few years back when Bayern beat them like seven to one. Something needs to be fixed ASAP, or this could be a very, very disappointing season for Barcelona. Let me know what you guys think down below. What does Barca have to do this season to at least be competitive in La Liga and at least make it to the quarterfinals in the Champions League? And what do you want to see us do next season? And what players should we go after? Let me know your thoughts down below and we'll see you guys back here next time on the G-Rat Show.